Hey everyone, we'll get started shortly. Uh, CC is doing the rules for league. I'm gonna leave it muted. Let me uh, try to get the match play up. All right. I hope everyone's ready for more pinball after Indus, because I'm not. But I don't have to play, so it's great. I just have to sit here. I still work, but it's okay. It's okay. Do, 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 do. And from each round after that, because we play six, each round after that, the loser can pick game or seed. All right, I think we're going to get started pretty shortly. I'm going to pull up the uh, match play. Match play, please. Here we go. Hillary wants to start. <laughs> Hillary wants to start. Uh, she doing things. Um, well, I mean, that's the gist of it, so we're going to get going. Uh, I think we want this view. Oh, yeah. Each group, you come over here and put your own scores in. At the laptop. Um, all right, we'll see what we're gonna follow. We're gonna follow Hillary first. Hello, Von Kraft. We're gonna follow Hillary because she's the number one person. These are not real seeds. These are just like the order they were signed up in. Real seeds will obviously happen like it's all random, anyways. Actually, it doesn't. There's no seeding for this, I believe. But it's good to have eight because you have two groups of four, so that makes it great. It's very awkward if it's like three groups of three, and then the points are all weird, and everyone's like, man. And second place sucks when it's a group of three. Feels bad. And uh, here we go. I will refresh this page. There we go. It's not the best. I mean, you could look at, you could sort of look up up there and see it's Laura, Nicole, Dina, and Lisa. That is also true. There is only one Nicole here. For now. Hillary, Madison, Cece, and Erica. Oh. In case somebody was confused with the other Erica. <laughs> Good it's to know. Who's also not here. <laughs> wow, everybody's angry. All right, where's Hillary going to go? Let's go find that out. Let's go figure that out. Hold on.
Yay, pinball, indeed. Uh, we're at Mousing Around. Uh, here we are. This is still set up hard, I think. Uh, let me turn the rig mic on. There you go. I had the rig mic off because of um, her announcements, but I'll, I'll bring it up. Okay, we're mousing around, and uh, here we go. Uh, so, mousing around, uh, this is still set up hard. Um, this is actually harder than the one at Indus because of the ramps. These ramps are crazy fast to prevent the... I mean, right, this ramp luck. is crazy fast to prevent the standard cheese when you try to just build all the letters in cheese by looping this ramp. Good luck. Uh, this ramp is also super hard because it doesn't this also spot a letter? I always just used to do this over and over because this is my definitely don't lose spell cheese first then shoot in the hole then go for multi-ball. So at least you have some points. Uh oh. I should have picked this instead of Lady Luck. And I still, you know, still should have picked Lady Luck tonight instead of that. <laughs> Hillary is talking about her awesome run in um, women's where she qualified on one card, went to finals and lost in the first round. Uh, she was disappointed. Uh, lady, that Lady Luck game was awful. I did not get to see it, but you could look at the points and you can see that that was awful. Uh, she's probably right. She should have picked missing round. Yeah, she was the third seed though, so that was really good. I believe uh, Carrie Wing won the tournament. Um, honestly, that's probably not a surprise. I think if there were odds, that I think Carrie would have been the favorite. She's really, really good. I mean, you can. I was watching her play Alien Star. She's def. She's like really good. All right. Well, uh, we have the the cool the cool interference with the receiver. But anyways, let's see what happens. Uh, is two X Playfield lit? Two X Playfield is already lit. And yeah, see, you you all saw that, right? You all just saw this, right? Like, watch this, watch this replay right here. Watch her shoot the ramp. Goes really fast. Yeah. Goodbye. So if you you pretty much need to hold the flipper up on both you need to hold the flipper up on both ramps. Wow. Don't oh worry, we'll get the score back. God. It's okay. Dang, there's like crazy interference over there. Eh. I'm really jealous of Carl's. Okay, fifty-five thousand. CC twenty-five. CC has twenty-five thousand because she went through some pops in the top lane. So basically. Basically, skill shots are going to be really big to, to on this right now. If you get a skill shot, it's 100K. That's like first place. Yeah. There you go. BMD's back. So CC has like an, a low without a, a pretty good score without touching the flippers. It's pretty amazing. Um, all right. Hold up the flipper. Oh, no. She's got it. Oh, okay. She got to flip. So it appears that the right ramp here is not as quick as the left ramp. So we'll see. Done. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I know. It's it's fast and cool. It's harder than it is at Indus. That's good stuff. Oh, shooter bonus, 200,000. Yeah. That's huge. Hillary's like, no, I want to I wanna be the top uh, person tonight with the skill shot. Yeah, that's right. This is the, re the salty run back slash redemption is what CC says. Wouldn't the redemption be winning the league? That's step one. I guess step one would be getting being top right now. Okay, that was a good way to handle that uh, feed. Yeah, at the one in this, you could actually shoot the, um, you could shoot both ramps, and it was pretty normal. And the monster bash was set up pretty normal-ish. I mean, hard, but not as hard as 2019 or whatever. The women's bank was pretty awesome. I'm not gonna lie. You got to play barbed wire. One of my favorite gallops. Okay, so anyways, Hillary is looking for ramps. Oh, she has two on the center. Is she going to go for it? She lowered the center, so she has her locks too. Okay, oh dang. So this was worth 100,000, but I think this return is really quick. But she has lock lit here and here. There's two locks. So the really goal of this game is you use, you spell mouse and trap, and it lights this lock here. Sorry, it lights this lock here. 
And there's a lock back here, and you lock two balls and play multi-ball. And by the way, every time you lock, you get more skill shots. Skill shots are um, cumulative, I believe. The more, it's like 100, then 200, then 300. I think it maxes at 300, though. I don't remember if it maxes. But, you know, looking at these scores, skill shots are uh, pretty important right now. It's maxes 300, that's what I thought. Um, but you know, 300,000 is skill shot, is nothing to sneeze at. Wow, what a nice job for Madison to loop that twice. That's a great save. The, uh, she needs OU for mouse. Yeah, that's right, your jackpot also increases. That's a good point. One more letter for mouse. Uh-oh. Dang. Uh, why is it doing that? Ugh. Let me go and restart the transmitter. Oh, there we go. Dang. It really doesn't like being over on the far side of the room, and I don't know why. Maybe I don't stand here. But, the, okay, so Madison, or Maddie, is uh, way up now. Uh, with the bonus countdown, it's probably 800 something. The score cam DMD is dead, but I can't do anything about it right now because she's playing. All right, it's back. See, it's already a, hundred, a million. CC misses the skill shot. Maybe she'll get the play. Oh, she got the play. Nice little tap over there. Good nudge to get back on the left. That's trouble. Nope, it's not. Slings. Watch out. Why are you? Oh, dang. She probably does. I don't know. I can go ask her later when she comes over here. Uh, da, 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 da. I will uh, point that out later. Wow, skill shot. That's huge. Okay. And I really do want to know why the why is the receiver? It's like there should be line of sight. Hmm, sorry, sorry, internet. I'm just curious why, because I can see mousing around from here. But is it because my head gets in the way, or is just because? Is it because somebody when somebody's playing at the machine, it blocks the receiver? That might be logical, actually. Sorry, it's a it's a trippy it's a trippy game here. She spelled cheese, right? Head for the hole, and that's when you want to shoot up this ramp and get some points. You go in here. Yes, CC forgot. Thank you, Dennis. All right, that's actually better. You could do head for the hole, or you could lock one ball, and then you can lock another ball. She can lock another ball right here, and miss the skill shot. It's okay. What you really want is multi ball right now. Woo! You got one lock. Oh, almost. That almost bounced in. So she really needs to not drain his ball three. You really want this lock. By the way, you cannot steal locks in this game. It will correctly do the locks uh, if you. If you uh, shoot it, uh, shoot a lock, another ball, another ball, another player has locked a ball. Look out. By the way, the other group is playing Circus Voltaire. I think Laura picked that. Circus Voltaire. Hello. Dun, dun, dun. Bum, ba, dum, bum, bum. Well, Hillary's got a pretty long ball game going. Long game going. You can tell it, I'm Ooh, a bit tired. <laughs> Alright, 1.6 plus bonus. Didn't get the multi-ball started. Didn't get the ja a little go in the hole thing though, right? So, looks like 1.8. So Maddie needs 800-ish to catch. Skill shot would have been huge. Gets a soft plunge instead. Whoa, that was close. She has her locks lit as well on the left orbit and the right, like, dead end, I'm going to call it. Yeah. 
That's unfortunate. To the out lanes. We'll probably follow this group throughout the entire time so for continuity. Oh, man, now you go I mean, there are only two lane. groups, but y'all know what I mean. If you're an employee of Captain, I guess you get a higher stream, uh, oh, stream consideration. Also because Hillary and CC are funny. We'll see. We'll see. Do we play extra balls? Yeah. Okay. Do, 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 do. Hold on, I'm getting a, a text. Do we play extra balls? The extra balls are just points in this game, um, but they are worth points. I'm pretty sure the extra balls set to points, like 100% certain, in fact. Um, let's see. Okay. CC. So it looks like I'm gonna guess it was Hillary, Maddie, Hillary, Maddie. I don't know what else. Let's see. Maddie, Erica. CC. So Hillary, Maddie, Erica, CC. So CC will get to pick. Uh, let's go ahead and look at match play right now. Yes, that's fine. Go for it. Uh, oh, this doesn't really help. I'll have to find a better view. Or you know what I can do? I can. Uh, Fix this, I think, by making this look uh, better. And we can uh, change the resolution of this so it looks slightly better. There we go. There you go. The people here can't see that that well, but the internet can see this well. Hillary is moving the camera to Cactus Canyon. We're going to see Cactus Canyon. Wow. Yeah, so this looks good, but you got to remember the showroom TVs they don't have as high a resolution. So they're, excuse me, they're a little, uh, not the best, but it's okay. Game of Thrones. Oh, CeCe's going to Game of Thrones. I was like, of all the games that are on right here, this one. CeCe's going to Game of Thrones. Very awesome. Let's see who picks what. Who picks what? CeCe's lazy to move the rig back to the game she wants to play, but if she loses again, she can go there. Everyone, <laughs> Hillary's like, why did why did you pick Hillary's like, why did you pick Game of Thrones? You're not good at this game. And CC's like, yeah, I know. You guys can hear. I swear, there's a ring mic. I forgot. Y'all can hear. By the way, check out IE Pinball for uh, Hillary's awesome foot action on barbed wire. I gotta clip that clip the clip of her like shaking her legs. All right, so let's see what oh houses everybody picks. Hey, you put it in third. First, not first. Second. It's on camera. Third. Oh, my God. <laughs> Which one? The, old, the furthest out you can be, right? You would yes. like to go third? Yes. I will go second. CC is first. I was going to pick first. I was thinking the opposite. I was like, yeah. Yeah, first. I'm going to pick first. Okay. Um, okay. You're going to help me do it. Like, every game is turned off. Until they all work. Well, most of them work. Most of them work. You have to turn them on. So the way it works is you turn them on, and then Hillary will clean it and turn it off when you're done. No, it looks like somebody threw it. Rush is out of order? Okay. Some games are out of order. Some are not. Rush is. We had a tournament before Indisc. A lot of things are out of order. Old Chicago, Jungle Queen, Skateball, Future Spa. It, it was a rush. It was a mess. I don't think Rush is out of order, though, because someone was playing Rush earlier. Or maybe it's out of order for tournament, because someone was playing it casually, and they was, seemed to be working it somewhat. They weren't complaining. I mean, it's possible they don't know everything, though, because they're pretty casual, I think. So she picked Lannister. Uh, she's going to start House Lannister. I don't know about this, but whatever. 
So Lannister is shoot this, any one of these targets in a red shot, and repeat, rinse and repeat. Useful during multi-ball. Uh, lock is lit. Lannister's special ability is to buy a playfield multiplier with money, so hopefully she didn't hit it, but I don't think she even had enough gold to buy a playfield multiplier. I should probably talk softer because uh, IFPA says you can't coach. They might overhear me, so I will try to talk softer. And uh, I thought she was going to play forever because she picked it. So like not say that much. Yeah. Let's see uh, what Better House Hillary will pick. Targaryen. House now Random. I Everyone's trying to remember what house they want. Gold. Takes the gold. Yeah, the I like Lannister. It's a very, I don't want to be last house because you use, use your multiplier when you do the stack. So for those who don't know, the standard stack in this game is uh, two house battles and a multi-ball. It's probably, you're probably going to use the Lannister as one of the mouse house battles because you've got to hit those stand-ups. And then the other one I like to do is the, um, the Orbit one, which I think is the purple Ooh. one. I forgot which house that one is. It's, it's this one. It's no coaching for during a ball, but they can hear me talk. And she used her multiplier, uh, but I don't think she had enough gold, because that's good, because she would have wasted it. I really need to make a spreadsheet or something to tell people when not to mash the button. I'm going to tell you right now, in most of the games, mashing the button when you're draining doesn't do anything. In fact, it's detrimental. You're going to use your flamethrower Mandalorian. You'll use your house power in um, Game of Thrones, and only a couple of houses can sort of save you. I think only one house would save you when you're draining. And it's hard for timing. Um, although spotting a shot in Avengers might save you, depending on what's going on. In Star Wars, it won't save you. In Elvira, it won't save you. All right, ball one locked. Going to pass or take the battle. Let's see. What? Yeah, that's true. Deadpool might get you something. The boom, uh, the boom is there. But in terms of saving your ball, it's like actually Batman 66 is actually might save you. You might get resurrected. Same with Walking Dead, depending on what's going on. Um, okay, so here we are on ball one locked. Very nice. We are in Lannister mode, I think. Is that right? I see flashing red shots, and I believe she hit a stand up. Yeah, and Lannister is currently flashing here, so the mode is on. I think. Oh no, I was wrong. Never mind. Now it's currently working, right? Yeah, because you got to bring back that Myrcella. Martian Bomb is not a center button. I was talking about... no. It's pretty interesting. Nobody usually matches the start button, even though they should, when uh, in a Mars Monster Bastion attack from Mars when draining. But everyone loves mashing the center button when draining. So it's just right there. Okay, so already got the multi-ball. Does she have two modes going or one? It looks like she has two, maybe. I can't tell. There's too many things flashing. Oh, she has two. She has that uh, orange mode too, Martel. All right, so she hit the button, but uh, I don't know which house. She, I think she was Lannister. I don't know. She think she had enough gold. You need uh, enough gold to buy a multiplier. The normal way to get to multiplier is just bash this over and over, and uh, this becomes a multiplier. The bottom one it becomes lit, and then when it's flashing, I think you'll see that you'll have two or three x. This, you, the higher ones here, which I think are four and five or four and six or something. You have to beat houses and then collect their sword up this ramp. When you collect th two or three swords, you can go up. You can go beyond 3x multiplier to like four or something like that. In this game, when you bash the start button, um, it depends on what house you are. So for Lannister, for example, you can buy a playfield multiplier, and that instead of having to hit this a bunch of times, you can buy a playfield multiplier. You can buy a playfield multiplier, which might be important. Like I said, um, what I like to do is do two houses and then do the uh, just block, buy as many multipliers as I can with how, however much gold I get have. It costs more and more gold to go higher, but you're locked at 3x until you beat enough houses. Like as Lannister, if I had 10,000 gold, I can only go up to 3x multiplier. CC is player one. CC is player one. I know. I thought I did better. Well, that did I not happen. I don't know. I don't know. She did not do better. She did hit the button by when she was draining, though. I no. locked the ball and all sorts of things. Locking ball doesn't give you points, I think. I don't. She don't. But she got a. She got 250 gold and big points. That's actually pretty decent. She has another lock up the center. That's probably a good plan. 
So in this game, it's very complicated because each of the houses has a special power on the button. Oh wait, are we talking about a... Uh, we're talking about Game of Thrones or a different one? I just realized, I, I went through a bunch of start button games. So... She's locked too locked. By the way, to light locks, it's right here. This is very important. You can't see it, but there's a three bank here, and it lights the out lane saves. It's called the Lord of Light, which I've never watched the show, but I get. I bet. I hope that guy's cool, cause he's your out lane ball save. And then um, this right here is uh, Blackwater multi ball, so standard lock. It's this lock. It's is this bank. This is on easy, so you only have. I'm sorry, on normal, so you only have to clear this once, and he lights a lock. Clear it again. Right. Lights a lock. Clear it again, lights the third lock slash multi ball start. For the Lord of Light, the first drop clear will give you both. And then the second time, it's like two or three. And it gets harder and harder every time. And the second time, you have to clear it twice. Uh, you can short plunge this game. Uh, if you short plunge this game and hit no switches, the ball save will not trigger. You can let it drain and do the Adam's Family trick. No. <laughs> Ouch. I am a fan of short plunging because the skill shot is generally not worth that many points. Although right now with these scores it is, so maybe it is worth going for. And also you spend time in the pops, which, you know, walking to talk taught us spending time in the pops is bad. Oh, you just have to hit either one? Okay. So that's the normal one. She started Winter is Coming, which is basically shoot these, um, wow. Shoot these shots, shoot the same, uh, shoot the flashing shot to build a jackpot, I think, on the wall on the uh, ramp, the middle shot. But it happens when you shoot, I think, a sh shot a bunch of times. Well, then everyone should be going for multi-ball even more. Because uh, if it's only one, one of the two sh targets on the right to light a lock, that should be pretty, pretty straightforward to get to the lock. Dancing wall, multi-ball. I don't even know which house she Erica picked, actually. I don't even know what's like. Wow, that was rough. Whew. That was like left, off the left, and boom, down to the center. It's pretty messed up. All right, well, Madison, or Maddie, sorry, is uh, clearly in the lead right now. But CC is uh, close to lighting the third lock. How come there's already one here? Or is that the one she hasn't hit? I thought... Do you have to clear the two bank to get the multi-ball start? Because she's locked two balls, Dennis. So for the first two balls, I mean, whatever. Well, now she's lighter, litter locked. She, she really wants that. Oh, Lord of Light is lit too. She's got the outlane ball saves. Oh, that was ball two. Okay. Oh, it's spotsy one. Nope, ball save. Oh, that that Lazarus too. That would have been pretty funny actually if she started playing playing two balls illegally. She needs to hit the dark one. Okay, there we go. Well, right now, she's shooting red arrows. Be careful. Really wants this lock shot right here. This And she has battle lit. So, you know, a lock shot here and then a center shot would have been really good. Because she would have had a, a multi-ball and, and being able to battle two houses. Probably being able to buy a multiplier. So when you're playing Lannister, draining and hitting the center button does nothing because you're basically trying to buy a multiplier and by that time you're draining, so you're just wasting your gold. So don't hit the center button if you're Lannister and you're draining. So that was only ball one locked for Hillary, but is she going to pass? Ooh, she's going to pass. She wants the uh, stack. She's not even going to play a battle, even with the, the, with the scores what they are. Okay. Oh, that's not, that's trouble. Okay. When it doesn't go all the way around, it's trouble. Oh, boy. Whew. Uh, Mystery is lit here on the Targaryen dragon or whatever, Targaryen shot. The return is very nice, as Johnny points out. I think she just got Mystery. Spend your gold. Show me video mode. Oh, going to buy some points. 10 million points. She had the combo going and so why that's pretty good that puts her in front of cc so that was pretty big winner is coming so i think she cashed it in already yep she did 
She's going for the multi ball. Obviously, I guess that's pretty safe. Okay, lock is lit and the house is lit, so she just needs to go center and not do that. Oh, that's the worst. She had the stack ready to go. So, uh, Maddie's in the lead, gets another ball still. Erica needs 10 million to catch CC. Let's see how uh, Maddie's gonna pad her lead here. She has one, uh, house, she has house battle ready up the center. You can see it's flashing. Hey, Arcade Hunters, thank you for the follow. Really appreciate it. See you right there. All right, so our Targaryen girl is was hit or something. By the way, to qualify houses, you shoot their shots. So to qualify house Targaryen, you shoot this shot a bunch. To qualify house purple, you shoot, I think, this one. Uh, the Stark is this ramp, and the orange one is this one. I think this is Martell, and I don't know. Uh, purple is, I forget. This is Tyrell, I think, is green. I don't remember. I played the board game. I still don't even remember all the colors and the symbols. I could point him out on the map, though. If they gave me the map of Westeros or whatever, I could point out where the different houses are. That board game is really good, by the way. It's like diplomacy, but cooler. All right. Ball one locked. No battle, though. Winter is coming. Is that what's happening? Oh, House Lannister. Sorry. House Lannister and House Greyjoy. Greyjoy, that's right. That's the purple one is Greyjoy. It's the left orbit, I believe. It's whatever's purple. The house, the colors of the shots correspond to the house. It's cooler than Diplomacy. It's awesome. I don't even like Game of Thrones, honestly. But the game is, the board game is amazing. It's like Diplomacy, but, oh, wow. CC has taken another last, so we can, uh, we can do something else right now. We'll see what happens. So right now, CC is going to pick another game, I guess. The other group is playing Congo. It looks like from um, from the scores, I can see that Laura is in the no, Laura is not in the lead. Player three is in the lead, I think. They're gonna play Jackpot. I like CC picking all these games. It's pretty funny. It's pretty cool. I mean, I don't know. She's just picking random games. It finds seems like I like it. Yeah. She's picking games she doesn't normally pick, so I like it. I think half of it is whatever game is on. She's picking whatever games are on, which I also am a fan of. I'm a fan of picking whatever games are on. I think you tend, you do pick it. Okay, so I will, for everybody who wants to know anything about Jackbot, cheats are disabled. And I believe, I believe to be fair in CC's defense, I think Bob Matthews likes playing this game without cheats, which I have right. words against okay, that. I don't, it might not be Bob Matthews, it might be somebody else. Someone at Indus told me they like playing this game without cheats. I think cheating is awesome. Cheating is somewhat strategic. You don't always just use your cheat. For those who don't know, you can mash the button, the extra ball button to cheat in certain ways, but we won't talk about that because cheating is disabled. So uh, with cheating disabled, casino run is very dangerous because the first bomb you get blows you up. But the, you generally can get three, three in before it gets really dangerous. You could also get a no bomb. I don't think it's on tournament mode. So I think casino run is, uh, it's random. It's truly random. The casino run, you got to play all these games. The problem is this saucer kick out can go right down here. And you might notice on most jackpots, there's a center post. But captains does not believe in center posts. They only apparently exist on like, Maybe transporter. I don't know. Uh, they exist on meteor, but all the other game. A lot of many games have the center post removed. Um, so the main probably goal people you'll see people do multi ball, which is uh, basically fill out this grid here in the center, and then lock a ball here and lock a ball here. And you want a soft plunge because you only you get three switch hits, and then you get a um, bef before the ball save basically even starts. You'll know because you'll see the little, like, design. You'll see this little, like, swirl. Also, CC uh, missed the... This will strobe. It'll uh, highlight a vertical line 
or a horizontal line, and if you hit it, it instantly fills the grid. So what a lot of people do is they try to pick one and do that. And filling the grid lowers the visor. All right, so she can double or nothing or cash. So she has to shoot under the ramp right now for for or for all the points. She has a certain amount of time. She got it. Nice job. So the reason why most people double it, even though uh, maybe the points are whatever, is um, when you shoot under the ramp here, it will like not only do you get double what you were wagering, what you were gonna earn, but it will light the next mode. Otherwise, you'll have to shoot the ramp all the way if you don't. If you cash out like a, if you're a wuss like me. Uh, the, the the standard tournament advice is to always double or nothing. I think Luca was very disappointed with me cashing out. And there's that return on the saucer we are all talking about. What would a center post have saved, Maddie? We'll never know because there isn't a center post. So that's why I think most people go for multi-ball in this game because the uh, center post is gone and the saucer return is uh, like that. I mean that ball was just pretty gone. Oh, by the way, the tilt is uh, the tilt exists. You can tilt this. So if you think you're gonna be able to shake it like a lot when it's coming down the center, it's probably not gonna work. It's not as tight as Viking or Jurassic Park, but it's still it's still pretty tight. Whoa! All right, slot machine, multi ball. So it's on multi ball. So she got the good one. If it's slot machine, you want the saucer because it's always multi ball. It's multi-ball for all the players. Why can I, uh, dog? So during multi-ball, so uh, during multi-ball, you shoot the uh, red things. You can shoot the eyes. Shooting the eyes really quickly is really good. It gives you a special jackpot, I believe. And then shooting any of these red ones would also give you a jackpot. Um, to relight your jackpots, you shoot the saucer. And that's pretty much a uh, multi-ball. Oh, if you get enough multiple jackpots, don't you start Mega Visor for like uh, tons and tons of points? I would recommend. Ooh, that was rough. I would recommend going for uh, multi ball with the settings with no cheating, so Casino Run is less valuable. And with the fact that the saucer return can just go straight down the middle and no center posts, I'm a huge fan of multi ball on this particular machine. Although if I'm playing jackpot like out in the wild, not here, I would probably go for casino run because I think it's fun to gamble. Also, if cheats are enabled, you can figure out when you want to use a cheat. That's pretty cool. All right, Erica taking the skill shot, getting 10 million. Ball save is pretty much gone. Oh, no, it's still there. Ooh, that was close. Pretty, oh, pretty close to getting the thing. The other thing about this jackpot is it's actually very hard to plunge all the way to the top. The shooter rod is sort of janked up. So that's another reason everyone wants a soft, soft plunge. Hey, Meg Torg -o war Meg Torg -o war thank you for the follow. CC taking the soft plunge, but getting a little bit. That's okay. Ball save's coming. It's going back. She's getting it back. She's getting it back. Don't worry. All right, so is it gonna go for it? She's going for the saucer, it looked like. CC going for casino run, I respect it. Oh boy, okay, all right, all right. Chopping up, gonna think about it. All right, uh, we need the green, and then the visor will come down and that'll be huge, okay. Oh no, some fumbling with the catches there, very unfortunate. By the way, if cheats are enabled, you can even cheat during your bonus countdown. So on um, ball three, if you haven't used the cheat, you might as well mash that extra ball button if cheats are enabled. Okay, Maddie taking this. Well, that was a skill shot, right? It found it was a skill shot, but it seemed like it didn't go all the way up. All right, double or nothing. Shooting under the ramp. Okay, that's. Oh my goodness. Maddie has been screwed by that saucer. That was awful. That was awful. Like it came out and just went blur. Wow. That's twice. Let's see if she goes for the saucer a third time. I don't know. And on a certain point, you probably do, right? You got to be like, hey, the saucer's going to be nice to me the third time. Nope. 
At least that's how I think. We'll, we'll see what happens. So the other interesting thing about the pops in this game is it increases the dice wager value, as you saw. But increasing the dice wager value works for all the players. So in a multiplayer game, you might want to even short punch even more. It's an interesting interaction. Like if some people are short punching and some people aren't, and you haven't played your dice game yet. Is that a deep cut? I don't know if it's a deep cut. Maybe a deep cut. Medium cut. Dice aren't shared? I thought they were shared. Maybe I'm right. I'm already forgetting. You're right. Maybe they aren't. I thought I read this whole thing. Ah, it's gone. Still, she's in first. Dice aren't shared. It also could be a setting. I just realized that. I think you're right. We decided dice weren't shared. So we can, everyone can ignore what I just said. Look, I'm tired. I literally have blisters on my feet from standing, not from walking, which I didn't even think was possible. I need to bring better socks to uh, Indisc. Yes. Yes. Okay, Sling Sling. These slings are juiced, by the way. They're super sensitive. It's very hard to trap up in this game. Um, the way this, this is set up, you're going to have to do a lot of... Oh, no. Yep. You're going to have to do a lot of, uh, like, hitting it, tipping it over to the next side if you want to trap up on a flipper. All right. So right now... Hillary's in the lead, but with these points, it's not that much. Also, Cece just needs this to bring the visor down. If she does this, she can bring the visor down. And bringing the visor down will... Um, bringing the visor down will enable multi-ball locks here and here. Killing it. A little bit more. Okay, so that was unfortunate. Where does CC finish? She's at 364, so didn't quite catch Hillary. Uh, Maddie has a somewhat place to go. Yeah, see, it didn't go all the way around. This The plunger rod is very hard. Oh, boy. Okay, that was trouble. She got it back. All right, roll the dice. And it's also, this is also going to be a roll the dice because... Um, We're gonna see what the uh, she cashed in. We're gonna see what the return is. Okay, got it that time. See, third time's the charm. Law of averages. Okay, nice. Gets the lock on the right eye. Gets the plunge again. By the way, you can soft plunge anytime you lock. Basically, as if you are starting your ball again. So you have a ball save um, once it, uh, sorry. You have the non-validation ball save when you uh, walk. You don't have a normal ball save. Like if she soft plunged and hit no switch, hit less than three switches, she can drain. Okay, so, uh, oh wow, power out lane, that sucks. But with the bonus, she'll pass CC. So right now, 379. Hillary just needs to flip a little bit. I think with the bonus, it's probably not. If the skill shot would do it too. Fifty-four, fifty. Does this actually give her points? It didn't. That's what I thought. Oh boy. Oh boy. Nice. Well, she got uh, she got over she got over Maddie. Okay, so now Erica's up. She's about a hundred million behind CC, which is not a lot in this game. Um, but does Erica have both her the like, visors down for Erica? I believe the visors down because this thing is blinking like that. Uh, but she has to lock here. You can see there's a lock. There's a ball already here from another player. You cannot steal locks in this game. So what will happen is she locks here, it'll kick it back out. And, but it'll counter her having one lock. And wow, 
That was rough. I don't think that's enough to catch CC. It's not. So Erica will get the pick. So Erica gets the pick now. So we go back here. The other group is playing Attack from Mars. They're on player two, ball one, it looks like. They're going to Congo. Somebody put a free credit on there. It might be Laura. I think it's good to stream Congo because it's a uh, Congo because that's somewhat new. Click a Congo. So a couple things about Congo. Let me uh, s here's oh let me refresh. So right now Hillary's currently leading the the pack, but uh, Maddie is right there at 17. Remember, the other group has, has a, is a game behind. They're at game three right now. Uh, Hillary's group has finished three games. Yeah. Okay, so, um, yes, whoa, 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 hold on. So, yes, I know there's a, a glare here, but um, they can't see it. We can't turn off the light. The other, the other group is already playing Attack from Mars. That's the one problem with playing Congo. I forgot about the glare. So, by the way, there's a cool skill shot. Um, that's the normal skill shot. You hit, the f you hit this bank here, and it picks one. And it, oh, sorry, it flashes, so you just saw. Thank you, Hillary. But the cool skill shot is plunging the out lane. It's worth 25. It gives you a letter. Getting all these letters will light mystery here. Uh, that being said, this is not on the same settings as Pins and Pirates. So this is a true mystery. You won't get Diamond Hunt multi ball. And gray is enabled. So shooting this to spell gray will let you go down here for big points and cool awards. Oh, my favorite mode. Pick a path. Going left. Oh, 10 million. Oh, found the diamonds. Yay. Uh, she has enough. Oh, tilt. Okay, that's fine. That ball was gone anyways. I mean, we'll do this, but the ball was gone anyways, so. Needed to happen. It was gone. Um, but she lit, it, she lit lock. She, so if you collect enough diamonds, you light lock here and here. Um, then you have to collect more diamonds. You light another lock. And as you can guess, if you lock three balls, you get a multi-ball. There's also a map. You can spell map. It, when you spell map, the diverter changes. Instead of coming back here, I believe the ball will come back to the left thing and you can shoot something else. I think I'm map combo in this game. I used to do it because uh, it was fun. I don't think it's worth that many points, but it's fun. It's like looping ramps in taxi. All right. She's really close to spelling Zinj, which would be, which would light mystery. Let's see what the shot here is. Oh yeah, she's trying to get diamonds too. Okay, so mystery is lit. She spelled Zin. She wants that. You can backhand it. Didn't quite get up the map ramp. All right, what's mystery gonna give her? Oh, diamond hunt multi ball. That's great. Obviously. 
So now you just shoot all the diamond shots. I think extra balls are actually real extra balls now, but I'm not sure. There might be points. I don't know. We'll find out. Someone gets one. I don't know. Collecting those diamonds and spelling Zinj again. Back to single ball play. Lock. She has enough diamonds for a lock. Oh, here we go. My favorite mode. Which one? Oh, I wonder if it's non-random. Could she have looked... At what hit? Because Hillary went left and got the points. I don't know if it's different for every player. You can steal people's like map, basically path through the maze. Be interesting to test or look up. All right. So anytime you shoot the scoop, I believe you light a diamond. When you collect the diamond, see how now. So you she can she can't get diamonds, but she can get map letters from this. Every time you collect the diamond, it's basically it goes dim, but you can. Add extra diamonds by going there. And she has mystery lit again. This is great. And she has her locks here and here. So, you know, this is really good. Out. Unfortunate. 6.5. All right. So, Maddie up to 222, which is uh, equivalent, to one of the, equivalent to one of the other players in the other games. Like, entire, uh, or two, two of their balls. Really great ball one. CC stepping up, was happy not to be last in the last game. Missed the skill shot, it's okay. Collecting them diamonds. So it's four diamonds for the first lock, based on my math along what that said. Okay. I'm Amy. Oh. That return was awful. Awful, awful, awful return. All right. Well, it's uh, Maddie with a decent lead, but you know, Congo is a game that can be blown up on one ball, and some of the some of the things you can do, your score will just like jump a lot, like a lot. All right, Erica's coming. Let's see what's up. We're going, oh, almost the super skill shot or secret skill shot. I think super skill shot. I should look over in this window. All right, getting the map. See how the diverter changed? I think what you're supposed to do, it's how you want to shoot here. When it, when it comes around like that, you want that. After the map diverts, after three maps, it comes down this way. And I think you're supposed to shoot this for the combo I think all right Hillary's up I mean currently in second place but that's not a lot of points miss the skill shot all right, map, here we go. Mystery, what's it gonna be? Is it Diamond Hunt Multi-Ball? Okay, so maybe I lied and it's back to... Maybe I lied and the mystery is non-deterministic and everyone gets Diamond Hunt Multi-Ball for the first one. I'm pretty sure when Chris and I played this game, we were not getting Diamond Hunt Multi-Ball for our first mystery award. But you know what? I'll go back and check the stream later. But this is great. Five million. Just wants to shoot any diamond shot. Every diamond shot is a uh, five million and giving her what's. Wow. Wow, that was rough. That was mean. Whoosh. But you know, 140. All right, Maddie's coming up, looking to extend her lead. So if she gets this, she's. She has mystery lit already, but she could spell another set of zinge if she, you know. She could use the flipper buttons to make this not lit and then try to do the secret skill shot. Takes the normal skill shot. Yes, the skill shots build as you get them. Um, so that was 15, because I think she got it last time, right? They built by five. I think it's 10, 15, 20. That sounds right. I don't know about the secret, if the secret skill shot builds. I think it's always 25. 
Oh boy. Almost. Grace almost lit. Grace almost lit, and she has a. Uh oh, dang. Grace almost lit, and she almost got her first lock. That was unfortunate, but you know, still, still a lot of points. Cece's got work to do, but not that much work to do. She's at 24, ish, 23.5. Here comes Cece. So, missed the skill shot. Oh, got it. Never mind. Showed me. It's coming back. It's coming back. Uh, but the ball save is off now, so don't lose it now. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay. Okay. M. Lock is lit. Got it. Gets the plunge again for another skill shot. As CC points out, she has her glasses on, so she's playing better. I like it. CC is serious. She's like, I'm gonna wear my glasses tonight. 15 million on the skill shot. Already, uh, already passed uh, Erica. CC's not happy with that. It was a brick drain. Happens to all of us. All right. So we have Erica. Lock is lit. Almost bounced in there. So the lock is on. It's the two green flashing arrows. Locks are lit here and here. Oh, go left. Go right. Okay. I think that's the path Hillary took. So it is. I guess it's random. Still got ten million. Twenty million. Got those diamonds. Do, 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 do. Look at that, 121. And it's back in. We're just going through all the caves now. It's okay, she got the kickback. Oh boy. It's dangerous. Ah. Alright, pretty good ball. 128. Not quite enough to catch Hillary, but making CC have to play a ball, basically, to not be last. Okay, Hillary takes, gets the skill shot. It's coming back. 155. No. Oh no, not like this. Oh, it's come back. Took a danger. Congo is a merciful game, apparently. Okay, so that lock is lit on the left. Oh, that's danger. the second danger. So one more danger would be the, the tilt button. Should I just hold, hover my hand over it right now? All right, map combo coming up. Nope, okay. Look at ideal. Yeah, that would have been, it would have been the end. Um, but she did pass um, Erica. All right, so Maddie is killing this, so she needs to, uh, she's just gonna extend her lead. Gets the skill shot. Mystery is lit. Mystery is lit. Is that really it? Dang. But she cleared 300. Yeah, uh, as Chris Chris likes to say, gray all day, right? Someone told him that. That's, that seems to be a good example. That seems to be a good, a, uh, see, she used play field validation. Nice, CC. Oh, boy. Just let it go. It's okay. She's not using her ball save because um, she hasn't hit a switch. It's just like Adam's family. There it is. Let's see how that was seven. She hit three skill shots, so the last one was 20. Okay, that's all right. This is now a, a PG-13 stream. You got one. Oh. 
So CC gets the pick. All right. Viking. She's picking Viking. I love it. Hillary's is, uh, CC is picking Viking, so that's awesome. Thank you. So we're going to Viking. That's what's happening right now. Hillary and Madison are now tied. The other the other group is still a game behind. Rawr. Maddie's like, nah, Hillary. I'm going to show you. I'm gonna go adjust the rig a little bit. We can pretend like we're in high stakes. Well, that, don't put your coin in that side. This game is much easier than the one in high stakes, so that that is definitely. Yeah, pretending. don't put your coin in there. It just ate my quarter. Oh. It's the left side. We'll give you a quarter, but. I don't care about it. Just no big deal. I just don't want someone else to make the same mistake I did. The right side works, right? Oh, thank you. No, not that one. That one's broken. That's the one I stuck my quarter in. So it's like... Here. Oh, she's I got it. One. Oh. I'll get you, CC. Okay. There we go. All right, Maddie. All right, everybody there. loves... Everybody loves uh, Viking. It's classic. CC, you're second. It's a classic game. Uh, so a couple things. I mean, it's really about these drops. That's what you really want. Uh, you can shoot the spinner rapidly because it goes from like 10, 10 a spin to 100 to 1,000. The return off this saucer is, it's okay. The one at Indisc was like pretty much straight down the middle or just to the tip of the right flipper so you could try to catch it sometimes. Or what you're supposed to do is they wanted you to slap save like every time. So it's all about not plunging this the, this the first time and not shooting the spinner, basically. Or just be Jim Belcito and get 900,000 on your first try. That's that's another thing you can do. Uh, you cannot tap pass on this game, but you can alley pass. Alley passing works on this game. She's tilted, right? That was totally a tilt. Tilt, 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 tilt. Um, so you can alley pass this way. And it's set up such that if you mess up the alley pass, you'll probably be safe enough that you can still trap. Because you really want to be on this slipper right here all the time because you really want to make this shot. And honestly, if, even if you don't want to make this shot, you can shoot this. You can shoot the spinner from here. Or you can shoot this 50,000 point thing. And it's like it literally only lasts a couple seconds. There'll be a crazy like sound when this is lit. And the light does work before anyone asks. It has been fixed. And basically, you can shoot it like, you can shoot it like that. And... Um, you really want to be on the right flipper. You can also bounce these back in here. It's really hard. This side is way easier than this side. But I've seen people do it twice. Spider-Man is really loud. Let me put the music back on. I don't know what happened here. Hold on. Spider-Man is loud. Their other group is on Black Knight. No, Spider-Man is so loud. It's louder than the music. Okay. Sorry, Hillary's got uh, drops down. That's great. By the way, this game has super bonus if you get to 20,000. Hillary's having a great game right here. It's definitely, I mean, her, her playing is already been playing the most. Uh, okay, nice. Gets the in lane. Okay, so this is, this is lit for 50,000, but by the time she comes out, it'll be over. Yep. Okay. Let's just see if she can get it in. Oh, yeah. she got it. Very got nice. On both sides this ball. She got one on both sides, proving my all my all my superstitions are our superstitions. Go up there, jerk. So this is now lit for collect bonus. So, and she's at twenty thousand. So even if she drains, she'll be there at the next one. And this is now lit for fifty thousand. There we 
You're, that was nice. It bounced in, but you you can shoot it up there. It might. Jim said it was hard, but this machine's been worked on and moved since then. So I don't know how hard it is now. Okay, that's all right. I think one more drop would have been a multiplier, though, right? She got one drop. I think if she got the other drop, it would have been good. The other game's on Adam's family. Yeah, the high stakes want to end disc. This was the one that blew everyone's card up, including me. And the saucer kicked to the center pretty much every time. All right, Erica's. Oh, oh. what did who who was I commentating with that caused that pilot error? I forgot. That's the meme, pilot error. That was unfortunate. I forgot who was that, but yeah, the high stakes one was pretty mean. Definitely blew up a lot of people's cards. I would rather have played Aztec. At least you got five balls. Okay, Madison. Looking for the spinner, I think. Okay. Uh, spinner is a good I don't want to be last strategy, but obviously if somebody's good at hitting these drops, They'll get a crazy multiplier, and more importantly, they'll eventually get like what special or extra ball, and then it just eventually becomes like future spot where this is just lit for points, and you just keep hammering it over and over. I mean, the other thing you could do is do switch hits, play this game like Stranger Things, switch hits until you uh, eventually trigger this for fifty thousand, and then just cash that in. What? Yep, that is uh, the classic Viking. Hold on a second. Our music is like dead. I don't know what happened. I'm not sure what happened to music. Hmm. Okay, whatever. I don't have time to fix the music. Okay, but this is live for 50,000. This is time going It's okay. She's got 20k in bonus. Yeah, makes sense. But yeah, this game is a lot about these drops over here. You can also clear these drops and it'll give you whatever value. It's like a ladder. And then this is a 5,000 rollover here. And I think there's some way to make these things. But honestly, the main things are this 50,000, the drops, and the spinner. And collect bonus over here. Those are like the main parts of this game. You really want to be on the right flipper most of the time. If you're on the left flipper, you can try to alley pass or, oh, unfortunate. Alley pass and you'll shoot this, or you can try to alley pass here, and then you'll be on the right flipper. And the flipper angles at Indus, they were not like this. They were uh, adjusted. All right, I got music restored. Nice. Hillary's almost at 300,000, and that's only two balls. That's huge. Oh, that 50,000 on the left would be huge right now. But she has hit the spinner a lot. <laughs> Spinner's about to time out. Oh, I believe the spinner also builds your bonus. I think when this sword goes up to the top right here, you uh, get one. you get one thing of bonus. So you would get, like, from... You know, you'd go from 13 to 14. But the spinner is, like, pretty juiced. You know what I think is so funny that's broken? Old Chicago. It doesn't keep track of balls. Sometimes you'll start the game, you'll be on ball five. Yeah. I know. I know. It is. It is like some kind of purgatory or... Hell, hellish landscape. On? Yes, it's always ball five, Never old Chicago, ending. but it's a one ball game. No. This is a three ball game. Three balls. It's three balls. We've all and asked different questions. Oh. <laughs> that one is five. This one is three. We this is game. 
playing six games. This is game four. Or five. I didn't know there was so much math. My favorite quote this weekend is everybody wins. In a tournament, everyone wins prizes. Just some people win negative prizes. And I, I definitely want a negative prize, but that's okay. So that 50,000 is lit. It's making that siren noise. It's gone already. As you saw, she filled the sword and got a bonus uh, advance. Hillary could really use this drop yeah. right here yeah, for the are. for the multiplier. The multiplier arrows are right here, by the way, on the side. Like Some of them might be burned out. <laughs> not that any of my other games would have been good enough. Um, well, so here, I'll help you with the pressure. Give me 50 bucks. <laughs> Actually, it was $10 a game, so give me $10. Okay. And then you'll have all the pressure you need. Will I get points? I have gay points? Sure, we'll do it 30x. Okay. Oh, 30x. 30x. That seems games, like 30x. You know, thing. Hi, Palero. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, dice chuck. This is a pretty fun game. So, uh, yeah. Hillary has killed Viking. Medieval madness, huh? There's a, there's a Star Trek Next Generation actually in this in this room. Uh, Road Kings is also here. I played uh, Firepower at Indus. That was fun. There's a rush here too. Doctor Who was also at, at uh, Indus, but it was in the Women's Bank. Doctor Who got put in the main bank by Kaylee. He removed Frontier, which I thought was funny. All right, Erica tried, but it was hard on the left. Okay, so let's see here. So Erica got second though. So Madison's taking the taking the last here, and we'll have choice of game and position. Oh wait, is CC last? Uh, I forgot who was second. I thought CC was. Second was Erica. Erica, sorry. I meant second player was Madison. So she gets the pick. Maddie will pick game or position. Here's where we are right now. Oh, Cece came in last? Okay, my bad. Sorry. Oh. Okay. That's fine. So right now, four point difference between Hillary and Madison with one game left to play in their group. So, you know, it can still happen. Madison could, uh, Maddie could still, you know. Hillary gets one point and Maddie gets seven. What, where are we going? Black Rose. All right, Black Rose. Yeah, okay, whatever, Cece. Sounds good. Center button action. I hope you're ready for some center button action because you know what Black Rose has? A center button. It's had a center button for a while. There's talk about going to Adam's family, which I would like, but I'm sure I'm not the one playing. Just I'm just the one commentating. Okay, well that's while they're deciding where to go, let me tell you that we are at Captain's Arcade Showroom. Back to normal hours, weekdays, 12 to 9. There's no more in disc. Still very awesome. Check out IE Pinball's channel if you want to see the uh, pro previous broadcasts and videos. Very high level right, play. Maddie, very exciting. What position do you want? But yeah, we have um, you know open 12 to 9. Uh, they have a rush and it was working last I checked. They also have Guns and Roses, LE, and a dialed in many other things here. It's all on L it's all on Pinball Map. I believe it's updated. It's updated except they added Rush and maybe Star Trek Valley got sold. Okay, so it looks like we really are going to go to Black Rose. You can't see it, but there is a center button right here, down here. There's a center button. You can use the flippers instead of the center button, but that's not fun. 
Uh, skill shot is plunge this. And I think what you do is you skill shot, you plunge this, hit the, you hit the skill shot, let it drain, and then you full plunge to lock the, into the locker here. Uh, these in lanes and out lanes spell L-O-C-K, and they light the lock here. And during multi-ball, I forgot what you shoot. It's probably the side ramp. It's either the side ramp or that, one of those two things. Shooting up the center gives you a bunch of rewards. One of them is going to be double broadside. That's a really good mode where you basically shoot the middle over and over, and you basically start doubling this, the jackpots. You can also um, shoot this whirlpool over and over for stuff. <laughs> We're all waiting for CC. She's all, she's all surprised she's first. So by the way, normally when you pick a game, you'll go first. That's generally what happens, but it doesn't always happen. So if you want to go first, you might as well pick a game, but it doesn't always happen. It depends your group in your group. Like if if Shane Klein is in your group, you'll, he'll pick first no matter what. I will just let that ball drain. And CC knows. CC knows how to play this game. Don't let her. Don't let her. Uh, don't let her fool you. She's played this quite a bit. She knows the basics. And I actually only know the basics. I also know you want to spell sink ship to get. You want to get letters to spell sink ship. Because then that lights the real mode of this game. I highly recommend watching, um, I think, Derek Price in qualifying for Pins and Pirates on this, the rally. He did a really good job of doing a, the, the thing, doing the thing for the points. Let it drop. Okay, so, so I'm pretty sure she could have let it drop and then full plunge into the locker, but it's all right. <laughs> what was that? Why is <laughs> what was that? That was straight to the outlane, right? That's what, yep. That was, uh, that was not great. Yeah, I saw that. That's pinball. That's my theory, at least. I don't know. Maybe. Whoa. I just see other people do that. They hit the skill shot, let it drain, and then do full plunge. Wow. This is uh, how my Black Rose games go right now, where nothing happens and I'm at like a couple million and I hate the game. This is definitely my least favorite game with the center button, not named Aerosmith. That's pretty impressive, actually. I didn't know you could score under a mil. I didn't know you could score under like a million. 55,000. Where do the where do those points even come from now? I want to know. I have to go watch what switches were hit. Hillary is also like, dang. I'm pretty sure I've had like 25,000 in this game though. Okay, got it. The skill shot is 500,000, so Hillary missed that. Ooh, gonna use the button or the flippers. 500,000, here we go. Too slow. Coming back. Uh, center shot to light broadside would be really good right about now. As you can see, there are... Um, oh, broadside's lit. It got spotted somehow. I think it got spotted off this bank. I forgot. That's right. These banks do stuff. I can't remember right now, internet. I'm too tired. I don't have my notes in front of me. All right. Well, anyways, we're loading the cannon. She really wants to shoot in here. The ball is down here right now. She really wants to shoot here to get double broadside. Oh, she did it. Oh, no. That was very unfortunate. Did she start double broadside and then drain? That's the worst. Um, I think that mode doesn't come back till you go all the way around. It's okay. You can still do multi-ball and other stuff. Locker doubled. Oh, my. Wow. That... Is that it? Jeez. That was awful. That was so rough. Jeez. That's one of those dreams where it's just like, whatever. The game hates me. Let's see. Let's see, see. The skill shot's 500, maybe more, because she got one last time. Oh, that's fine. That's actually probably better, now I think about it. I forgot she had that open. 
Get the double broadside. Not quite. Not quite. Shot missed. Oh, push the button. You can kill Polly by pushing the button or mashing the flippers for some more points, by the way. CC is kind, though, so she didn't kill Polly. Oh, boy. Okay. Look out. Hit the center, please. Got it. Broadside lit. Gee, nope, that's what you want. You want the center. You want that instant reload. That would be good. Good nudge. Come on. Okay, look out. Whoa. No, it's not two-way combo. Locker double. Doo -doo -doo. Hmm. There's all these things going on in this game that I don't even know what they do, but she's close to opening the locker again to lock the to load the cannon. She's got some lock letters going, so either of those would be pretty good. Center shot would also start one of those hilarious modes. You'll eventually get a, a good one. Oh, that's a good one. Shoot ramps. The ramps are millions for 30 seconds. This can be very lucrative. You can hit a ramp. You can loop the ramps in this game. All right, almost. Still got, you guys still got plenty of time. With the scores being what they are, this is a really great mode. This is pretty good at looping ramps. I'm trying. That That's a not a ramp, but it's okay. You get a lock letter. So whenever you shoot it in there, it spots you a lock letter. Ten seconds. She really gonna hit no ramps here? Wow, I guess so. I had cursed that one. What do you have to hit the ramps or Yeah, it's telling me to shoot for the ramps, and I was hitting everything but the ramps. Aww. The center drain is also really awful because if she had drained the out lane, she could have got another lock letter and lit lock. All right, Hillary, looking to uh, finish at least right now. Yeah, I think so too. CC's talking about the center plastic and I agree. It's gotten like worn or whatever. Yeah, no, I think the people are saying that. The center plastic is diverting the ball, like, when it rolls over. Wow, nice uh, backhand into the center, right? That's what happened? Yeah, very nice. On the fly. Okay, look out. Mm. Why? Uh, okay. Oh, that's right. There's a flipper there. I knew that. That's how you hit the, the... That's how you load the cannon normally. That's how you hit this ramp without plunging. You see, there's a flipper here. Okay. We're good. We're good. All right. Got it again. Broadside lit. Here we go. Here's points. Can, uh, okay, I cursed that, oh, wow. but she has more points than CC. After uh, that ball won, that's pretty decent in terms of uh, relative to everyone else. What? I don't. I think you had to shoot the center at least one more time. Because the fifty-five thousand ball one did not help. Yeah, I agree. This game is like Adam's family. So when you get a bad plunge, if you hit Zoe or switches, you can let it drain. Sad Hillary is sad. But now Hillary knows. <laughs> wow. That is not coming back. That is that. But, uh, okay, that was really off unfortunate. Awful and unfortunate. Walk the plank. Oh, hit those buttons. She's going to mash the flipper buttons instead. Oh, she's supposed to hit the flipper buttons or the center button. 
Uh, this is not looking good. Oh, unfortunate. It's okay. I mean, we all saw me fail that on Pins and Pirates on stream as well. And I'm part of Team Center Button. Which is now debatable after that failure, but whatever. Uh, da, 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 da. So what is she? Oh, okay. 2.56. The bonus enough to push her over Erica? We'll find out. I... Yes. Oh, that was only ball two. I knew that. Everyone gets a third ball. I, I lost track of balls. It's, uh, you know, it's Indus has been a really long weekend. I was there working it for many, a long time. I think I got to the convention center at 8 a.m. at the latest every day. So Sundays it was like 7.30. It was rough. Swing from the rigging. Ooh, spot a letter. That's much better than 500,000. Swing from the rigging. Okay, that was that was not the one. She thought it was like the one where you mash, but that's the one with timing where you hit it. That's okay. I mean, it tells you what you're supposed to do. It would say press fire rapidly if it was the mashy one, but it's not. Light that broadside, please. It's all, look at this. Look at this light up here. It's all flashing. You can't see it, but you can sort of see it's flashing. Oh, that's great. Broadside lit. Ooh, going up the center. Ooh, lock enabled. So right here, it's the lock. That's the, that's the lock shot. That's not good. What happened is what Hillary's asking CC. What happened is that... No, not yet. What happened is that uh, Hillary, I think, is going surpa uh, to gonna, gonna surpass CC with this skill shot. Let me try that again. Yay. So yes, I cannot tell Hillary about the Adams Family stuff while she's at the machine, but I can tell her when she's not. Move. Move. That was a good save. That was also a good save. <laughs> she's at six million. Oh boy. But That's locked and able on the left. Oh wow. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Wow. Wow. Very, very good. Yes, as CC points out that Hillary did enough to get more points than she did than her. So she, the locker is open. Locker is open right here. Oh, this is huge. Either ramp will be millions. So let's go right here and right here. Or that could be your, yeah, you can just shoot the center too. That works too. One ramp shot and she's over Hillary, I think. Oh. Oh, shit. There's no neck. Damn. Five, nine. Okay. Damn. So, so close. Thank you so much. Wherever you go next. <laughs> <laughs> Hillary's trying to talk to Erica, but Erica's not around there. In the wind. One more loop to open the can. Oh, boy. Okay, good. Got the in lane. Oh. Hello, Raymond. How's it going? Congratulations on your Indus finish, or your open finish. That sounds right to me. But we'll find out. But on bum but on bum bum bum. Yep. Yep. Hillary, Erica, CC, Maddie. That's correct. Classics number one was better. I did not see what happened during classics number one. So, congratulations on that finish too. Uh, are they playing Future Spa? What's going on? We'll uh, we'll we'll move to Future Spa in a minute. I'll move the rig. Hold on. After this ball, and we'll get the la end of this. I'll be back. They're done. They're just playing. So there you go. Everyone, there it goes. Hillary Hillary uh, takes it. And CC is at the bottom. 
that's okay. So Hillary, Nicole, and Madison, and Lisa. There you go. But you know, it's it's what seven more, six more weeks, and you drop two or three. I forgot. So Cece's probably pretty sure she's gonna drop this one. All right, so if you didn't hear that, it's seven weeks, drop to get you done. Uh, do you want to get in? And uh, we can talk about this, and then we can shut the stream down, and I can go home and get some sleep. I don't care what everyone else does, but I'm go I want to go home and sleep. Yeah, well, you've been working too, so. I took a nap. That helped. Oh, well, so. that's good. All right, here's CC. All right. Hello, Hello. Twitch. So, again, it's uh, seven weeks, drop two, yes. and then finals is the eighth week, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. And finals is going to be basically 50% or um, top four, or what are you going to Well, yeah, if we can do it in multiples of four. Okay. I think that just to make it simple for match play stuff, and we don't have all these buys and people sitting out. And gotcha. I got you. Because yeah, we want to play. Right. You know, we don't want to sit out. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I'm trying to make it as simple as can be. And then, of course, you know, we'll still have our consolation finals for uh, everybody else. Um, yeah. Finals is always the fun night. Oh, with yeah. Our definitely. tiaras and sashes. That's right. That's right. Yep. Um, so any other events coming up? Uh, yes. So we have um, the Rush launch, launch party. party on the 27th, and I believe... That's this, this uh, it's February 27th or yes. March 20th? February. February okay. 27th. So last Sunday of this month. Yes, I and I believe the 21st, I, first I have an IFPA uh, tournament in here for okay. the girls. Got it. I mean, I can look right now if you really yeah, want. Yeah, I... I Okay. That calendar's not there. So. All right, I'm going to look it up. By the way, everyone, <laughs> if you download the IFPA app, it has different uh, it has different events, and it geolocates you. Hey, I haven't even done the app yet. Yeah, so let me tell you. Nice. Let's say the 20, what did you say? The 20. I think it's the 21st. It's not on the calendar. Okay. So never mind. I did have. You like have one on the 14th on Pi Day, 314. Okay. But I had, I think I, I thought I had one before that. I thought I had one in February. Gotcha. Um, I'll look it up because I yeah. know I have, I, I know I have some in there. Um, so, anyways, but yeah, we're gonna be doing uh, tournaments on some of these off because mm -hmm. we're doing first and third Monday of each month mm -hmm. for the league for for bells and chimes, and then we are going to do some off Mondays with just IFPA tournaments. Got it. And then for those other days, we'll just play. If anybody shows up, we'll play. That's fair. Um, um, yep, sounds good. Someone's yeah. Gonna, uh, one sec. I'm trying to find someone to raid. Oh, okay. Uh, we can raid Lynn's Arcade. I think that'd be cool. You don't want to talk about Indus, or did you already talk about we it? We didn't talk about Indus. Let's let's talk about Indus. You want to talk about Indus? We can I, I want to know what your thoughts were. I thought oh. it was pretty good. Um, it's a new location, so there's a lot of, you know, sort of first-time kinks to get out. Yeah, but, learning know, learning right, situations. Right, but I think that if if it's back there again, I think that will go – it'll go much smoother. It was very nice. It was the a nice – The location was nice. I mean, I'm going to say, too, that I no, no knock on banning, but Riverside, you know, there's more stuff around in, oh. a, wa in a walking distance. <laughs> Um, okay. Yes. <laughs> Cece's yes. like, yes, yes, yes. You're uh, not, you're not uh, across the street from this <laughs> gas station where you're afraid of somebody's going to. Uh okay. <laughs> yeah. But you know, there were, there were, you know, there are bars. There's a 24 hour ramen place. There's all sorts of stuff. There's the food lab. You can go to game lab to play other games too. It's pretty neat. Um, yeah. There's a lot of stuff to do outside mm -hmm. of in disc. Yeah, exactly. But for, for me, when it was at banning, mm-hmm. I didn't need to leave Banning. I didn't need to leave the museum. Right. So for me, it was like, I'm going to be there all night anyways. Got it. Um, so I didn't need that something to do afterwards. Thing. But I think a lot of people appreciated that. Some people appreciated the other side with fighting games and cosplay and, and the little anime festival con. It was neat. It was an interesting uh, mix. And honestly, the machines played great considering um, you know how many they were. I know there were some issues with classics, but... There's always issues with classics um, and some issues with like the shadow, which we all know is going to happen. But 
they were set up cool. I, I thought it was a good space. Um, the stream was really awesome. Carl did a really good job. Yeah, I'm sure their internet was a lot better there. Uh, yes, that is <laughs> that is true. <laughs> because um, at the museum, there's problems with internet. Yeah, there. and then also we had heat. That was good. It was the temperatures were better. Uh, yeah. It got hot sometimes, but you know, for those who don't know, in Banning, the, there's no like heat in the. Um, in the inside the building. Inside the building. So I know everyone makes fun of me for wearing a jacket, but I am always wearing a jacket. But if you notice other people who don't wear a jacket, if you watch the older Indus footage, they're wearing, some of them are wearing jackets and long sleeves who not normally do that because it's January for SoCal people and it's like, ah. And I know yeah, all the I, out of towners laugh at us, but we're, we're used I to I get things. cold very easily. Yeah. <laughs> so there you go. If but you know. Yeah. See, Erica's like, it's below 70. We need long, we're long sleeves. We're California yeah. people. <laughs> but yeah, Raymond was in the chat, and he's in the chat right now. Raymond Ashby, he did really well in classics and open. I think you're uh, going to be. Yes, I think you might. I hopefully, I don't know where you are, but I think you're going to be maybe around 200 something or under sub 200 now after this. Um, I highly recommend everyone check out. I'll post it in. It's twitch.tv, twitch.tv slash IE Pinball. Carl really put in a lot of work on the stream and running the event. He didn't even play. But so did Jim, Bob, Jay, Dave, all the people you normally see around here. Yeah, and, and um, I don't think Jay played in. Jay played a little bit and then stopped. It's honestly, we're all really tired to play. Dave played a little bit, didn't play that well. I played s the cards I paid money for, and then <laughs> some. I ran out of time because I had three <laughs> main cards left, so I think I learned I got to avoid more entries, um, which is fine. But I ended up volunteering for much more than I thought, and they were like, "Have some cards," and I was like, "Okay." Um, <laughs> But now you don't have time to play them. Yes, exactly. But it's all right. Um, that's okay, Raymond. You'll find a way. Uh, I know you won't. I know you're gonna take a break, but it's okay. Um, Hillary did really well. I thought. Yes, one, Hillary one did card in very women's well. And go, got to uh, so we playoffs. Hang our the, very own Hillary, yeah. bells and chimes, girly girl. Also did okay. She, yeah, that's true. She, she got 21 points in classics match play. Qualified in third place mm -hmm. in the women's. And then took a 12th in the finals. Um, and then the classic target mar match play, you Tom. took a... I got 21 points. 21 points. 21 points, which was above the average player. Yeah. I mean, I only had 20 points. So, <laughs> that's like... Well, uh, and I think you were tied with Gene, Gene Lewin. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah I think tied with Gene Lewin, always good. Which yeah. Yeah. On a classics, yeah, that's the important thing. thing is every most of us were the important thing was most of us were above Johnny Modica in classic <laughs> target match play, so that's what really matters <laughs> for uh, that tournament. Although yes, John, really cashed in at high stakes. yeah, Johnny yeah. cashed in at high stakes, and also I think he was in the he was in the first round of open, I believe. <sighs> um, speaking of high stakes, once again, Jim Belcito played one card and got into high stakes. That's awesome. Uh, it's always a Jim Belcito moment when he's like, ah, oh, so annoyed at this Viking game. This is crap. And you look at the score and then he, 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 he GC'd it. It was <laughs> 957,000. He's like, no, I should have rolled it. This sucks. <laughs> it's the, that's the Jim Belcito way. Viking or sorcerer is like, oh, God. And the rest of the girls, you guys all. Yeah, good job. You guys all played in the women's, right? Not me. I played oh. Oh, Erica didn't. I had to work. Okay. Yeah, because she wasn't. Because you had to qualify on Friday and Thursday. Yes, for women. yes. So Saturday was Saturday at 9 a.m. was finals. Mm -hmm. It's all good. Now You'll, you know. You, now you know for next time. Erica's going to plan. Um, so I had placed 35 out of 45. It's 10 from the bottom. Okay. <laughs> you don't have to share that, but okay. I was seven. I was like I, I'm seven. So all right. It's all good. I'm like, I don't care. All right, I fair played enough. horrible. I I am really not that great, apparently. <laughs> um, but, you know, you always try to play better. Yeah, no, for sure. And uh, that's what uh, I need to work on, is playing better. Yeah, and then I think a lot of it is also the, it's different playing uh, by yourself. I can tell you, though, I had a lot less stress mm -hmm. playing. So, because I wasn't, that's you know, good. doing any of this right. organizing stuff. Um, so playing there was I didn't have that stress. Yeah. It was just the stress of playing the machines. The machines That's good. and <laughs> it's different stress. It's all about how well you handle stress and uh, yeah. that helps. So that was all good. Yeah. And uh, I think just a couple things coming up in the local area. Wednesday, 
Downtown League in Santa Ana starts hosted by Jay Collins and uh, at Mission Control. And Dave is also hosted by Dave Hill. Um, that starts this Wednesday? That starts this Wednesday. <laughs> Next Go right, week, jump yes. right in. Next week there is going to be uh, Jim, Jim and Carl and Laura's League and Polero's League. Michael Polero, sorry. He wants to be called Michael now. Michael's League. Michael Polero's League will be uh, IE League. It starts Tuesday, a week from tomorrow. So now he is officially slid into IE League, huh? Yes. Okay. He helps run it. He's like a co-director. I think it's him and Laura and Jim. I don't actually think Carl helps run it. I realize he's really busy. Um, but the interesting thing is Jim is switching out all the machines, and some of the machines from Indisc are going over to Lake Alice. Oh. So I can spoil that right now for the stream. No, I'll do some trivia questions now. Okay. Um, <laughs> So we'll, uh, it's dirty here. Last I checked, as of this morning, it's, as of this morning, there's actually too many, so he has to cut one. But it's Dirty Harry, uh, Stars, Monster Bash, Alien Star, Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, Genesis, Jurassic Park, and one more that I can't remember. But it doesn't matter because he can only have seven there, so he has to cut one. Um, what was the I other one? I could have sworn that they had more there. They have seven right now. The whole wall is filled. Um, he has I still, have, I have still never been there. And then the, <laughs> some of the machines are going to Game Lab. So if you want to play WWF Royal Rumble, which I do, you can go to Game Lab. Speaking of Game Lab, a week uh, 217, there will be a tournament at Game oh, Lab. What and, is it? Uh, it's just a $5 monthly tournament. Oh, okay. And um, WWF will be there by then. So if you want to play WWF, WWF Royal Rumble, the older one with the wrestlers most of us know. <laughs> um, some of us know. You can play that, or you can watch the uh, footage, because some people put up some monster scores on that. And uh, there's a bunch of other things in the IFA calendar. I think there's a Good Times tournament run by Gerald on Monday. And uh, yeah, uh, we'll, just, we'll talk more about it next week uh, for more events. I yeah. think that's uh, enough talking. But Indus is really fun. I highly recommend people go uh, check it out, especially if you're a local to SoCal. Just come for one or two days. You can come for Saturday or Sunday. Um, it's very interesting to see people play in like live, especially really good players, see how they handle things. Yeah, and next time, mm -hmm. pre indisc here. Yes. Um, we're gonna have more guest people come sit up here with okay. you. Okay, sounds good. Uh, we had we had a lot of Twitch people yes, in here. Streamers, a lot of streamers were here, but they were also playing. So. Ah, uh, yeah, but yeah, you but know, yeah. but Jeff, Jeff, done. Jeff jumped on, and some other people could jump on. No, totally, we'll do that. It'll be a good time, for sure. Totally. Yep. So. Okay. Uh, Anything right. else? I think we'll say bye. We're going to go good. ahead and raid um, Lynn's Arcade, I think. Oh, okay. Um, they're going live right now. I think this is – I'm going to hope this isn't a uh, a replay. But if it is a replay, it, enjoy anyways. <laughs> no, it's – well, it says I, They're it's playing live. Rush, so it, I don't think it's going to be yeah, a replay. Yeah, that's, that's live. It looks like they're doing – they're doing a league too. So and everyone can go and enjoy their league uh, after watching Belt and Chimes League. All right. And we'll say bye in like – right now okay bye